Hey guys! So this week I wanted to do a Valentine's Day hair tutorial and today we will actually be doing finger coils. Today we will be using the Rose Oil Gel Cream from Shea Moisture and I am applying this to freshly washed and conditioned hair. So since I want more volume in my hair, I'm only really coiling the bottom half of my hair. So what you end up doing is you section it into a smaller section depending on how many curls you really desire and how large you want them. So because I wanted more defined curls, I ended up making them larger and that way I could continuously pull them apart once they dried, but I didn't have to worry about a lot of frizz. After I grab the section of hair that I want to begin my coil on, I just simply grab a spot in the beginning and continue to twirl around and around my fingers until I get to the end where I make sure I have smoothed it down all the way. So I was not completely satisfied with the way the back of my hair turned out so I went and got my curls product in Blueberry Bliss and I actually used that for my hair in the back and I have to say I'm really happy I did. It smoothed it down great. So since I was going out with this hairdo just like this I ended up putting some edge control cream right in the front just to smooth down my edges. Now that my hair is all nice and dry, you can see that the curls came out really nice, defined, and really, really shiny. Oh, and by the way, this is our newest addition to the family. Her name is Peach. She is two months old and full of energy and just could not stop trying to get up on my lap. So I figured I would introduce her to the world of YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, the next thing that we're gonna have to do is pull out our coconut oil. This will help us to make sure that we are reducing as much frizz as possible when we have to start pulling our curls apart. Just taking a puppy break here and discovering also that our dog likes coconut oils and curls <laughs> she loves curly hair I don't know why but there's just something about curly hair she loves to pull them and watch them spring back she even did this to my best friend who has curly hair I don't know what it is I guess deep down she's just a curly girl too so as we finish up our hairdo we're just gonna keep pulling our hair apart and fluffing it to our desired look. And then after that, that's it. You'll have beautiful, defined finger coils. This is a hairdo that I used to often do when I was transitioning. It really helped my hair that was still permed to curl right up with the rest of my curls. And I always have loved it. Deep down, I have a special place for finger coils. Voila! This is just such an amazing type of hairstyling and I love, love, love how defined my curls came out. I love just being able to actually wear my hair out. This will be the first year that I will actually be wearing my naturally curly hair. Normally I always straighten my hair for Valentine's Day, but I decided not this year. Not this year because New Year and it's a different tradition, it's a different time in our lives now and guess what, I can rock my curly hair because my hair is beautiful and it is mine and I am happy with it. 
So I hope that this gives you guys a little bit of motivation if you already hadn't decided or if you wanted to maybe find something that would really be a wow for your Valentine. I hope that this video helped you find that. I'm actually going to be doing a second part of this video and it's going to be a makeup tutorial. So make sure that you guys stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to hit that little bell to be notified for every video that I put up. And well, until then, bye.